Let's begin today's cards of the night with 6 cards for dark states and easy BT04. Peacant Miasma when ridden over by Sanguinary Tamer makes you soul charge 2 cards and give your vanguard 5k power. Dark state decks who need to accumulate soul in the early game are no longer forced to use a flaming pony in their ride line and be accused of being a brony. Sanguinary Tamer when ridden over by a grade 3 bearer Magnus card makes you soul charge 2 cards. Then call a grade 3 or lower card from your soul. Barra Magnus finally gets a free rear guard from all the random soul charging. Definitely an improvement over Electro Spartan. Providence Disorder Barra Magnus, while on Vanguard during your turn, gets 5k power for every Barra Magnus card in your soul. And while on Vanguard, you can pay one counter blast when he attacks a Vanguard to draw a card, and he gets an extra critical if you have 10 or more cards in soul. Then put any number of rear guards in both players field into their owner's soul and call up to 2 cards from your soul and they get 10k power if you have 15 or more cards in soul. And your opponent must call 3 or more cards at the same time to the guardian circle if they wish to guard his attack if you have 20 or more cards in soul. This feels more of a side grade since nothing was improved upon. Borshirod combined the first two effects of the original Bera Magnus, but also made the minimum requirement higher for it to activate. Making the last effect requiring 20 souls is just asking to get deck out at that point, even with Keenly Ludley which you cannot use, since she requires the original recipe Bera Magnus. And this also forces you to run the old one, if you want to go beyond 15k power. Dance of Awakening Maffle while on rear guard lets you retire herself at the end of the battle she boosted, and you have 10 or more cards in soul to reduce your Bera Magnus Vanguard's auto ability cost by one counter blast. She's certainly not worth the deck space if all she does is counter charge, which Selfish Engraver already does and more. President of Glory Morax when placed on rear guard makes you soul charge one card then he gets 5k power. If you have a grade 3 or higher Bera Magnus Vanguard, then you can pay one counter blast to return any number of normal units from your soul to your deck, and he gets 5k power for each card returned by this ability. This is basically Keenly Ludler's replacement with the added bonus of an extra 5k power and a soul charge. Finally, Moment of Silence Schwellen when placed on rear guard from hand lets you reveal a grade 3 bearer magnus card in your right deck or if you have a grade 3 or higher bearer magnus vanguard to put a card from your drop zone into your soul then she gets 5k power if you have a grade 3 or higher bearer magnus vanguard and you draw a card when she's put from rear guard to soul by your grade 3 or higher bearer magnus vanguard's ability Despite having really good artwork, I don't see her being used at 4 copies, since the deck already has better grade 2 and 3 rear guard attackers. She's only good for fishing out key cards in your drop zone like a sentinel or persona ride that you want to add back to hand with key grass ability. And that concludes today's cards of the night. Special thanks to my Patreon members for continuing to support my content creation. Be sure to subscribe and let me know in the comments if you're pissed that the new Bera Magnus supports don't even use energy for their ability cost.